Uh, well, from my point of view, I think um, where we're going to see things moved to, um, we're currently hosting in um, Ireland at the moment uh, and in um, the Netherlands as well. We want to move into uh, England, but what we're seeing is that not all of the service capability have moved across yet. And I think that's quite natural that um, not all of the systems are moved across by, say, Microsoft, for example, or AWS. Um, so I think where we're going to see it is the services that are provided are going to be sort of migrated across um, internationally. But we're, um, we're starting to utilize um, more computational power um, in, in the cloud, um, leveraging cognitive services and that sort of thing. So one of the things that's quite interesting to me is to see how machine learning can be um, done in the cloud. Uh, because it requires a significant amount of computational power, um, but it's cheap. And to build those sort of services up on premise um, would be prohibitively expensive for us to do. But we're able to do some quite exciting things. Um, one of the things that's quite interesting to me is um, image recognition. And you see a lot of this with um, DeepMind are doing a lot of work on this at the moment. From my uh, viewpoint, a use case could be that someone goes into the gym with their mobile app, they take a photograph of a piece of equipment they don't really recognize. Um, machine learning recognizes what that image is, identifies potential workouts you could do on that piece of equipment, and potentially sets up a, um, a, a fitness plan that they could carry out. So there are real world benefits of utilizing that computational power. I think.